please. Before we start, search Ecodec on YouTube, click on the like and subscribe button. Remember to activate the bell to stay tuned with our latest updates. What's up guys, welcome back on Ico Connect to this new tutorial video. So today we are actually going to be talking tech and we are going to be mainly focused on Hyper-V. So whether you are, you are a software developer, an IT professional or a technology enthusiast, many of you need to run multiple OS on your machine. So I hope you guys have heard of VMware with VirtualBox. So Hyper-V actually functions the same as those two software so hyper-v is a virtual machine actually embedded in windows 10 operating system and please if you guys actually watch our previous video which we were talking about how to install hyper macaloo linux from hyper-v most of you had problems on installing it because you guys didn't know the way about to install first of all to install hyper-v on your windows 10 pc so that will be the main focus on this video so in this video i'm going to show you guys two exciting ways which you can install hyper-v on your windows 10 pc and please i'm going to be showing you guys to install it using powershell and the using the turning features of windows 10 so hyper-v is, is an embedded windows 10 feature so you don't actually go on google and say you want to download hyper-v you will find it so it is embedded on windows 10 so one of the concerns you guys are going to meet with hyper-v is that hyper-v is is only executable on Windows 10 Pro so you can't have Hyper-V if you're actually running Windows 10 Home I'm sorry to say that you can't run Hyper-V on the Windows 10 Home version so you must actually have a Windows 10 Pro in order for you to run Hyper-V so Hyper-V is not available on the Windows 10 Home so please if you know you're using a Windows 10 Home I'll, I'll invite you to switch to the Windows 10 Pro version if you want to enjoy Hyper-V so after you uh, having your windows 10 pro another thing to look is at some of the system requirements of hyper v they are not actually much you, you just need a processor that i'm going to say a core i3 minimum a ram of at least four and a graphic card let me say at least one gig I am. so once your computer complies with the requirement which are windows 10 pro or the notification 64 bit processor with the second level address translation technology and the CPU if it's an Intel CPU let it support the VM monitors on my own case I'm using an RMD CPU so you can see I'm using an RMD CPU with all this done as I said earlier I'm going to show you guys two methods but in this video I'm going to be using the second method which is actually installing it using the Windows feature which is actually the most simplest but for the first method which is powershell as you can see here is the command i'm going to provide this command in the description so what you need to do is just to copy this command open up your powershell so powershell is just open up powershell and make sure you run powershell as an administrator and copy this command and paste it and hit on the enter button it will be done for the first method so now talking on the second method we're going to activate the feature since i'm already using a windows 10 Pro it is already embedded so as I said earlier you can't find the you can't find the setup of Hyper-V on the internet it is embedded on your Windows 10 PC so to actually have it you need to go on the program and feature windows so you can see I'm going to turn windows feature off so let me first prove to you guys that Hyper-V is not installed on my PC so I'm going to be searching Hyper-V let us take so you can see Hyper-V and there's nowhere to be found here are just internet results and please to activate it you don't need any data so i'm going to off my data to do this you can see if you can actually take a look it does say yes you can see here is hyper-v if i click on this plot so you can see we have the hyper-v management tool and the hyper-v platform this is because i'm using a windows 10 pro because it is already embedded in it. so you guys should actually have this windows 10 pro or the education to actually be be able to run hyper-v so just activate and what is going to do is that if you click on this up button what is going to happen is that the program is going to install searching require searching for required file as i said earlier this process does not require any internet connection so after this is done after after searching i'm going to move on to the next which has been applying changes so after the applying changes you are going to be asked to restart your computer and please note your computer is going to restart twice so I'm going to ask you to start twice for this operation to actually be done. So what I'm going to do is that 
I'm going to leave the video on pause. I'm going to be back on the stage where I'm going to be applying the changes and pause again coming back when I'll be asked to restart the computer and show you guys that my Hyper-V is installed. So if you can clearly see things already been applied, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and come back later to actually show you guys that my Hyper-V is installed. So please note your PC will restart twice for this process. See you guys in let me say 10 minutes when I press my PC is going to restart. So you can clearly see that the operation has been successfully done. Now what I need to do now is reboot my PC. So as I said earlier, your PC is gonna reboot twice. So I'm going to be back after the double reboot of my PC. So after your computer has double rebooted, let us now check if our Hyper-V has actually been installed. So I'm going to search for Hyper-V and let us see what shall happen. So see. Let me see, you can see Hyper and you can see it is what we did this here is a Hyper V. So Hyper V is already installed. So let us open and see what it's going to say. And boom, here is Hyper V. So in Hyper V can actually install so in Hyper V can actually install many operating systems of your choice. So after installing Hyper V, the next thing you are going to want to do is to know how to install your virtual your OS virtually on Hyper-V so for this please we have to, we already have a video on this so please you you are going to click on the link above to actually get access to this video which was on talking how to install Kali Linux on Hyper-V once you are going to watch this video on how to install it with Kali Linux you are actually going to also know how to install the Hyper how to install it with other operating systems so the, the, this link is available at the top of the video so just click to get access to this video on how to install Kali Linux on Hyper-V so happy viewing hope you guys love the video and please subscribe to actually support us because we're actually working a lot to bring you these videos so have a nice day Merry Christmas in advance bye see you next on IK Connect